All right, so guys, this is number three out of 2.5. And the problem here says in a survey of 100 resorts, it was found that 32 had a spa, 43 had a children's club, 13 had a spa and a children's club, 55 had a fitness center, 14 had a spa and a fitness club, 20 had a fitness center and children's club, and nine had all features. And so we're gonna complete the parts A through E. So in doing a problem like this, uh, the way I usually do this is I'm gonna make a really, really big Venn diagram, right? Trying to make this as big as I can because I'm gonna have, um, you know, I need a lot of space to do my problem, okay? So let's think about the three circles we're gonna have. We're gonna have a spa, we're gonna have a children's club, and we're gonna have a fitness center. So here's my spa, here's my children's club, and here's my fitness center, okay? So I'm gonna label this spa, children's club, and fitness center. Okay, so now the process and how I'm gonna go ahead and do this, y'all, I'm gonna work from the bottom up. So it says nine had all three features. So I know the nine's gonna go right here, okay? So we got this part done, okay? And then it says, let's do this part. 13 had a spa and a children's club. So here's my spa and children's club where they overlap, right? So in this little blue section, I need to have a total of 13. Well, we already have nine where all three meet. So this piece right here, y'all, should be four, okay? And then let's go ahead and do the same thing for this next one. 20 had a fitness center and a children's club. So here's my fitness center and children's club. This is where they overlap, right? Because here's my fitness center and here's my children's club. So they overlap right here. So in this red region, we have to have a total of 20. Well, I've already have nine right here in the middle, then this number here needs to be 11, okay? And let's do this one more time. So then we said, well, 14 have a spa and a fitness center. So 14 have a spa and a fitness center. So here's my spa and fitness center. This is where they overlap, right? And in this green area, we have to have a total of 14. Well, I've already have nine here, then this number here, y'all, needs to be five, okay? Okay, so now that we have those, then we can do the, each of the other pieces. So let's go ahead and work on this. So look, 43 had a children's club, right? So here's my circle for children's club and all the, the total in this thing has to add up to 43. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, let me add up four and nine and 11. And let's see, that's gonna give me 13 and 11. 13 and 11 is gonna give me 24. And if the total is 43, then I'm gonna take 43 minus 24. And that should leave me with something like 19, right? So the children's club on the outside of just on this part right here should be 19. Okay, so we got the children's club part done. Okay, then let's do the same thing for the fitness center. So here is my fitness center circle, right? So all the numbers up here have to add up to 55. So we're gonna take five and nine and 11. We're gonna add those up together. So this is gonna give me 20 and five, that's 25, okay? And then we had a total of 55. So when I subtract those, that's gonna give me 30. So 30 should go right here, okay? And then finally, the last part, 32 had a spa. So here's my circle for spa. I know this problem takes a little bit of time, guys. So just bear with me, but let's see. So we're gonna add five, and nine and four. So that's nine and another nine. That's gonna give me a total of 18. And we have a total of 32. So I'm just gonna take my calculator real quick. Let's see, 32 minus 18 is gonna give me something like 14. Here we go. So 14 is gonna go right here. Okay, so now we can start answering our questions, right? So let me just, get, I'm just gonna get an eraser real quick, guys, to kind of clean some of this mess up right here okay now that we've done that part so now when we look at part a it says how many of the resorts only had a spa so only had a spa would just be the 14 right so look what i'm going to do here for y'all i'm going to come back over here and i'm going to type in 14 and i'm going to check my answer and we got the first part done right okay so now when i look at part b part b says 
how many of these resorts have exactly one feature, right? So let me upload that, oops, let me upload that picture so we can see it. Here we go. Had exactly one, oops, there's my pen, here we go. Exactly one of these features. So exactly one is going to be these numbers because there's exactly one there, right? So I'm going to take 14 and 19 and 30, and I'm going to add those numbers up. So 14 plus 19 plus 30 gives me something like 63, right? So for the next part, right here, I'm going to write 63, okay? So let me double check, right, to make sure that I'm telling you guys the truth here. So 63, we're going to check our answer. Boom, we got it, right? Okay, so let's see. Um, now, part C says, how many of the resorts featured, uh, a survey had at least one of these features? Okay, so at least one of these features. And let me see. So let me pull this up here and choose my photo. Okay, had at least one of these features. So guys, at least one of these features tells me that what I need to do is I need to go back to my Venn diagram here, and I need to add up all the numbers on the inside. And you know what? There's one number I forgot to put earlier, and it's a number that's going to go outside the circles, uh, but inside the box. So let me just take my numbers. I'm just adding 14 and 5 and 9 and 4 and 19 and 11 and 30. Okay, so inside the box, inside the circles, y'all, I have a total of 92. So remember, we had a total of 100 resorts. So on the outside is going to be 8, right? Because the total has to add up to 92. So when I come back over here, I'm going to put 92. All right, so let me type in 92 here. And we'll check our answer. Awesome. Okay, now part D says, how many had exactly two of these features, okay? So let's go back and let's take a look at it. Okay, let me just upload that picture so we can see it. Okay, here we go. So exactly two of these features. So let me show you how I'm going to do that part now. Exactly two of these features would be the 4, the 5, and the 11, because they overlap at exactly two parts, right? So if I take 5 plus 4, that's going to give me 9 plus 11, that's going to add up to 20, right? So all I'm going to do here, y'all, is I'm going to type in 20, and I'll chickety check my answer. All right, so we're going to go 20, and there we go. Okay, and here we go. Part E says, how many had none of these features, right? So none of these features, y'all, if I come back and I look at my picture, None of the features is, this is where the eight comes into play, right? So I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna type in the number eight and I'm gonna check my answer and we got it, okay? So it takes a little bit of time, but I hope that walking y'all through it right here made a little bit of sense, okay? If y'all got any questions, guys, just let me know, I'm happy to help.